Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is reverse a string and it is a basic level problem. So I think that this video was not actually required but I am just making it for the sake of uploading videos regularly and this particular problem says that we have been given a string and we need to find the reverse string. Right. So this problem is very similar to a recent problem that we encountered in the recent problem of the days and that was identifying whether a string was a palindrome or not. Right. So in palindrome we check whether the ith position and the n minus i minus 1 position are same or not. In this case we are just going to swap them. So let me just denote these positions. Right. So let's say this, these are 5 positions. These are, this is index 0. This is index 1, 2, 3 and 4. Right. So you will see that when we reverse a string. Right. Whenever we reverse a string, this particular character at the 0th position will come to this 4th index. Right. Similarly, this character at the 1st index will come to the 3rd index. So these positions are going to be swapped. Now there are actually two methods of solving this particular problem. The first one is using the inbuilt C++ STL function and that is reverse. Right. So this reverse function actually reverses the string in place. So it can be used for vectors and arrays as well. You just have to pass the starting pointer and the end pointer of the container that you have to reverse. So if I do this and return the string, I believe it should work. It means compile it and test first. So you see it is uh, compiling successfully and let me submit this. So you see this passes all the test cases and this is one of the possible solutions. Now what I can do is I can just run a for loop i is equal to 0, i is less than string dot size. So I am just going to take the size of the string and what I am going to do is I am just going to swap str of i and str of n minus i minus 1. Right. So if you are taking 0 based indexing then these will be the corresponding pairs that you will have to consider. So for example when i is equal to 0, n minus 0 minus 1 will be the position of the last element. Right. So this is how you can swap those characters and you will be able to reverse your string. So one more thing that you don't have to go till string of size, you have to go only till string of size by 2 because you are swapping the character in the first half with the character in the second half. Right. Now if you continue going to the second half then you will make the swap operation again and the string will remain unchanged. Right. So we don't want that. That is why we will only go till string of size by 2. Now I can just return my string and let me just compile it and test whether this works. So I believe yeah and we have to take str size. And now let us see whether it works or not. So you see it is compiling successfully and let me just quickly submit this. So you see it passes all the test cases and the solution is also correct. So I highly recommend you to use the inbuilt STL reverse function that, that is very helpful when you are actually solving some other problem. But just in case you wanted to know how they are actually swapped so you can use this for loop. So that was it for today's video. I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did, then consider dropping a like on this video. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video was actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So I see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet. In case you are one of them, then definitely consider subscribing. It's always free of course and you can always unsubscribe if you don't find the videos interesting later. So share this channel with your friends. Until the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe, bye bye.